So you're probably wondering why I'm going to show you how to do something that is not necessarily recommended, uh, and that is to customize a built-in command. In this case, we're going to customize the migrate command. So very much like why does electrician on YouTube show you how to um, perform certain tasks when you're not meant to um, due to regulations? Well, probably for views, but at least if you are going to do it, then let's do that in a, a safe way. So I just want to explore a, a safe approach in this case of making some small overrides to the migrate command so that we can enforce the fact that the user has to, when they run the migrate command, they have to specify an app and a database. So let's first of all explore and find the actual uh, migrate management command that's built into Django. And typically if you are using a vent folder, a virtual environment, you're going to find a lib folder. Inside of there, you're going to find where we downloaded Django. And then inside of there, we're going to look for core and then management and then commands. So this is all the Django management commands and you can take a look, see what they do, how they, um, how it's done. It can be really useful if you're new to development to look through existing code because you can pick up on different approaches that are used, different uh, conventions and take a look at code, how it's structured. There's so much to learn from looking at existing code. What we're looking for here is the migrate command. So go ahead and open that up. And you can see if we look a bit down here, you can see the command. So typically when we create a, a management command, we start with the class command and then we inherit from the base command. So you can see we're following the same principles or Django's management commands are following the same principles as we're told when or how to create a management command. So let's see if we can first understand a little bit of what's going on here. So first of all, we have this add arguments method, right? So this code here, uh, defines the command line arguments for the Django management command. In this case, obviously the migrate command. So we've already utilized some of these different arguments. So the database to specify the database, and we have been specifying the app we want to apply the migration to. Now, what's important for us to identify is the app label here. So this is an optional positional argument, which represents the app label of the application that we want to synchronize, of course. So uh, that's there. And then we, it's useful that we've identified the name of this. We can utilize that potentially. And then we have this flag here. That's another element that we want to be able to identify. So um, we want to be able to capture whether the user has actually utilize that when they run the migrate command. That's our goal, as well as identify whether they've actually utilized and supplied an app label. Now, if we look further down in this file, we will find that in actual fact, the app label is validated. So it's actually stored in a variable. So potentially we can utilize that in our command when we override to actually extract and see whether the user is actually utilized um, uh, an app or actually has typed in an app when they run the migrate command. So I do have everything I need now to get started and build this command so we can enforce the migrate app name and the database when we type in the migrate command. Now, what I've done here is I've created in the inventory app for no particular reason. I've just put it inside of this app just to show you. I've made a new folder called management inside of my app. And then inside of that, I've got a commands folder. I've got an initialization file in there and I've created a new file called migrate. So it's the same name as the actual migrate command. So remember the name here in this management command, that's the name um, that's going to be used when we actually run uh, manage.py and then the name. So because I've named it migrate, that's then going to be initiated here because I've typed into the terminal here, migrate. So we name the file the same name as the command that we want to run after make manage.py, making the assumption you've never created a management command before. Right, so from here then, uh, now like you saw, the management command is called command, and then we will need to this time bring in or uh, extend from the migrate command. So what we're going to need to do is from, let's actually find that. So sorry, inherit that in. So django.core.management, if you remember, um, dot base. 
let's go ahead and import uh, command error because we are going to uh, potentially need to to do a little bit of error control. So then from Django dot core dot uh, management dot commands. Now remember here that uh, we have the migrate file inside of there. The actual uh, command class is called command, but I don't want to utilize. I don't want to inherit from command. So I use an alias this time, which is a uh, migrate command. So I'm using an alias here, and then we're going to um, inherit that into our class. And then we can go ahead and now perform some sort of override. So nothing crazy here. You can go ahead and create a, some help if you want to. Um, so you can read about this command. So run migrations uh, with app name and database. Now we need to override the handle method. So here in Django, the handle method um, of the migrate command, the original uh, migrate class, uh, this method is called when the management command is executed. So what we need to do here is we need to retrieve the value of app label option from the command line arguments. And then we can check to see if the user has actually typed in a name of an app when they're running the migrate command. So that's the next task. So def uh, handle. We, okay, we don't need any of that. Uh, then let's pass in the args and I think it's the options. And then let's go ahead and say app. So we saw this in the original code, app label. So we just need to get that. So we use options.get and then specify app, uh, app label. Okay, so all we need to do now is check to see if it exists. So if not app label, then we're just going to run or raise our uh, command error. So command error, and then we can just go ahead and specify something. No database or no, no app has been specified. So now we need to check whether the database has option has been provided in the command line arguments. If not, again, we're going to raise a command error indicating that no database has been supplied. Right, so this is fairly simple. So it's just a simple if statement. So if, um, and this is going to be database. So we're going to need to bring in sysargs. So not in sys, uh, sig argv, uh, argv. Let's go ahead and raise the command error again. And then this time we can just say no database supplied. So let's go ahead and import sys. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, sysargsv, then this is um, a list in Python um, that contains the command line arguments passed into the script when it's executed. So in this case, we're passing in um, database. Again, if you're not familiar with sys, we've imported sys. So this is a module in Python standard library. Um, it does provide uh, access to system specific parameters and functions. So take example, if we were to type in something like this into our command line, um, what would happen is we could capture all of that using sysargsv. So we could say sysargsv0, that would be script. And then the second argument, the third argument, and the fourth argument, and so on. So what we're looking for here is a match in the arguments um, database. Obviously, if it's not passed in, then that means that the user hasn't actually typed that in, and so they must supply it, of course. So that's what we've done there. So now we just need to call the handle method of the parent class uh, to perform the migration operation um, with the provided arguments and options that we've just supplied. So for that, we need to use uh, super. And then let's go ahead and uh, I can't remember if it's dot. No. Handle. Uh, handle 
the args it's late it's late options handler options bear with me a second uh okay yes there we go right apologies it has been a very long day it's quite late at night i'm recording this as well right so with that in place hopefully now uh we're going to uh, it should work straight away in actual fact um we've got it in our management folder don't forget in a in an application we've just randomly placed it there commands uh we've got initialization file and we called it migrate so i think we're good to go with that so let's just give this a go so let's just try and run migrate we should now be told no app has been supplied wonderful so let's now supply an app there we go no database supplied so it looks like we are having to actually supply both the database and the app before something happens of course um we haven't set it up correctly to migrate but oh actually maybe we do have a problem um in this line apologies yep okay so it's handle not handler I'm not too sure where i got that from right so let's try that again Ooh, no arguments okay and then finally i see the problem so apologies we didn't add self into the function there so now we should be good to go there we go 